The shocking truth behind narcissistic sadism, uncovering their cruelty. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Narcissist Exposed channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an update. Today, we're diving into a deeply unsettling yet crucial topic, the shocking truth behind narcissistic sadism, unmasking their cruelty. We're going to explore the dark side of narcissism, where it intersects with sadistic tendencies, and what drives these individuals to inflict pain on others. This isn't an easy topic, but understanding it can help you protect yourself and others from their damaging behavior. So, let's get started. Narcissism is often associated with self-absorption, a lack of empathy, and an insatiable need for admiration. But when you add sadistic tendencies into the mix, you get a much more dangerous and destructive personality. Narcissistic sadists derive pleasure from causing pain and suffering to others. This behavior goes beyond typical narcissism and ventures into a realm of intentional cruelty. The roots of narcissistic sadism can be traced back to a combination of psychological, neurological, and environmental factors. At the core of narcissistic sadism is an extreme need for power and control. Narcissists already crave admiration and validation, but sadists take this a step further. They seek to dominate and control others through fear, humiliation, and pain. This need for power often stems from deep-seated insecurities and a fragile sense of self. By exerting control over others, they temporarily alleviate their own feelings of inadequacy and powerlessness. One of the most disturbing aspects of narcissistic sadism is the calculated nature of their cruelty. Unlike impulsive acts of aggression, narcissistic sadists often plan their actions meticulously. They are skilled at identifying their victims' vulnerabilities and exploiting them to inflict maximum emotional and psychological damage. This calculated approach makes their behavior particularly insidious, as it often leaves their victims feeling helpless and trapped. The pleasure that narcissistic sadists derive from inflicting pain is another defining characteristic. For these individuals, seeing others suffer provides a twisted sense of gratification. This pleasure is often tied to the dopamine reward system in the brain, which reinforces their sadistic behavior. Every time they succeed in causing pain, their brain rewards them with a surge of dopamine, reinforcing the behavior and making it more likely to be repeated in the future. Empathy, or rather the lack of it, plays a crucial role in the behavior of narcissistic sadists. Empathy involves the ability to understand and share the feelings of others, and it acts as a natural break on harmful behavior. However, Narcissistic sadists exhibit a severe deficiency in empathy. They are unable to connect with the emotions of their victims, which allows them to inflict pain without remorse. This lack of empathy is often linked to abnormalities in brain regions responsible for emotional processing, such as the anterior insula and the anterior cingulate cortex. Narcissistic sadists often present a charming and charismatic facade to the outside world. This duality allows them to manipulate and deceive others effectively. They can be highly persuasive and convincing, making it difficult for others to see through their facade. This charm is a powerful tool that they use to lure in their victims and gain their trust, only to later exploit and harm them. The impact of narcissistic sadism on victims is profound and far-reaching. Victims often experience intense emotional and psychological distress, including anxiety, depression, and post-traumatic stress disorder (PTSD). The intentional and repeated nature of the abuse can lead to a deep sense of helplessness and worthlessness. Victims may also experience physical symptoms such as headaches, insomnia, and gastrointestinal issues, due to the chronic stress and fear associated with the abuse. 
Understanding the tactics used by narcissistic sadists is crucial for protecting yourself and others. Gaslighting, a form of psychological manipulation where the abuser makes the victim doubt their own reality, is a common tactic. By distorting the truth and creating confusion, the narcissistic sadist undermines the victim's sense of reality and self-trust. This tactic is particularly damaging because it erodes the victim's ability to recognize the abuse and seek help. Isolation is another common tactic used by narcissistic sadists. By isolating their victims from friends, family and support networks, they increase their control and reduce the likelihood of the victim seeking help. Isolation also makes the victim more dependent on the abuser, further entrenching the power dynamic. Financial control is another method used by narcissistic sadists to exert power over their victims. By controlling access to money and resources, they create a situation where the victim feels trapped and unable to leave. This financial dependency can be a significant barrier to escaping the abusive relationship. Despite the severe and often debilitating effects of narcissistic sadism, it is possible to break free from their control. The first step is recognizing the abuse and understanding that it is not your fault. Narcissistic sadists are highly skilled at making their victims feel responsible for the abuse. But it is crucial to remember that their behavior is a reflection of their own pathology, not your worth. Seeking support from trusted friends, family and professionals is essential. A strong support network can provide the emotional and practical assistance needed to escape the abusive relationship and begin the healing process. Therapy, particularly trauma-focused therapy, can be incredibly beneficial in addressing the psychological impact of the abuse and rebuilding self-esteem and confidence. Legal and financial advice may also be necessary, especially if the narcissistic sadist has exerted control over financial resources. Understanding your legal rights and options can empower you to take the necessary steps to protect yourself and regain control of your life. Setting firm boundaries and maintaining them is another crucial aspect of recovering from narcissistic sadism. This may involve cutting off all contact with the abuser and avoiding situations where you might be vulnerable to further manipulation. It is important to prioritize your own well-being and safety above all else. While it is challenging to change a narcissistic sadist, some individuals may seek help and show a willingness to change. However, this requires a deep commitment to therapy and a genuine desire to address their behavior. Without this willingness, attempts to change are likely to be ineffective. In conclusion, narcissistic sadism is a deeply disturbing and destructive form of abuse that combines the traits of narcissism with sadistic tendencies. Understanding the psychological and neurological underpinnings of this behavior can provide valuable insights into how to protect yourself and others from their cruelty. By recognizing the tactics used by narcissistic sadists seeking support and setting firm boundaries, it is possible to break free from their control and begin the healing process. Remember, the abuse is not your fault and there is help available to support you on your journey to recovery. And there you have it, folks, the shocking truth behind narcissistic sadism and the cruelty that defines their behavior. It's a tough topic, but understanding it is crucial for protecting yourself and others from their harmful influence. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might benefit from this information. Also, leave a comment below with your thoughts and experiences. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more insightful content.